All right, what's up, everybody? This is Jose Trujillo. I am the world's greatest living artist. And I'm here to do another painting for you guys. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy this painting. I'm, I'm about to put a uh, canvas there. You guys are probably wondering, what painting are you talking about, Jose? Well, well, patience is a virtual. Here I come, hold on. Let's do this. Uno, dos, tres. Salt bay. Activate. There it is. Okay. Uh, let's see. Those are my uh, special effects. So, as you know, I like to draw my, my paintings first. Before I paint them, I like to do a little sketch of them and see what's up, you know, where, where, where are we at? What's going on? So I'm gonna start out here. By the way, I'm painting a little happy little horse. All right, it's gonna be a happy little horse. <laughs> All right, here, let's do this. Boom, baby, look. Something like that. Okay. Now, the style that I like to do is uh, expressionism, and so I like to keep I like to keep it fairly loose. Okay, the whole thing is to keep it loose because if you keep it loose, you can always tighten the painting back. But if you're too tight when you're painting, it's very hard to loosen up. I hope that makes any sense to anyone out there. So a lot, a lot of artists have a hard time going loose because they, they start very tight. And I always, I always tend to um, explain to artists who I coach with, uh, with the way that they paint is start out very loose first and you can you can now start tightening to the to the point that you want it but if you start out super tight you, it's very difficult to loosen up and so a lot of people are afraid of, of loosening up because they're like oh i don't want it to be too loose or or to loose the train huh. um this is my art joke my art nerd joke um i don't want it to be too loose i want it to be um I want it to be somewhat loose, but not 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 too loose, and uh, and so how do I do that? And I'm like, you want it to be representational to a certain degree, but you're afraid of going loose, and that's not going to work, at least not for me. And so so what I tell them is, go very loose, and then you can tighten, you can you can you can control it later, as opposed to getting very tight and then loosening up a little bit then a little bit i feel like that's harder to do for a lot of people that's that's been the experience and for myself too so what i did is i i went very loose first very very loose and then as i started tightening it up as i as i wanted to as i like you know some uh, I, I like i like to i like for the painting to have some representational value and uh and especially my oils right especially some of my oils not all of them but some of my oils they need to have that it's important for me it's important for my for my uh for my customers for my my collectors they like that and then uh some other stuff that i do it's extremely loose it's so loose that that uh that it's just the way it is i i, I like that too but but not everybody I didn't market myself that way. Let's put it that way. I didn't market myself to be so, so loose. And so not everybody is, it's not everyone's cup of tea who follows me or who buys my work. But uh, some people enjoy that too and, and they buy it. Especially my watercolors. My watercolors are, are, are probably my, no, I would say my, my ink drawings, my ink paintings are probably uh, my very loose the, the the loosest I get when it comes to painting is my ink, my ink paintings. 
my uh, Japanese brush ink paintings. Look at that. Mucho bueno, baby. And I'm doing this with a single brush right here, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna switch. Okay, it's something that I that I also uh, recommend artists to do. If you want to be loose, you need to learn how to be nimble. You need to how to be flexible, right? You want to be flexible. You want to be able to switch and move, and not stay in one in one place all the time. Uh, what I mean by that, I, if I'm painting this horse, I don't want to stay on the face all the time. Right, and I don't want to stay with one brush all the time either. Either, even though I'm using a one brush right now, it feels right. The moment that it doesn't feel right, I move, and you're gonna start noticing it for yourself in your own artwork when it doesn't feel right. When it doesn't feel right is when you start going against the the flow. You, you're gonna start feeling that you're going against the grain, meaning you're going to start doing little things like i need to get in there with this corner once you start doing things like that or things that just don't make any sense to 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 the area that you're painting uh for example um you're going to want to paint a large area of a painting with this little tiny brush right you're gonna be like uh and so you're gonna start doing things that make no sense and that's that's when you that's when you want to move you're going to start feeling it. You're going to start feeling it. it. Hopefully you learn how to pay attention because that is a skill in itself. Learning how to pay attention to those little things uh, so that you're able to be free and, and loose and nimble and, and be able to, to do whatever you want as an artist and not, not remain uh, trapped by a brush or by, by a color. I do it with colors. I, I'm nimble with colors. I'm nimble with brushes, uh, with subject matter. Some people are like, oh my God, you have so much subject matter. Oh, you have so many styles. Oh, you have, because I, I, I need to keep moving because I know what it does to me. It, it's, it's what it does to your, to, your, to your state of mind that I don't like, you know? And again, it's not for everybody. It, it shouldn't be for everybody. It's for me. It's not for everybody to do this. Uh, it works for me. It works for my from for the, the way that I market myself, the way the way that I work. Um, so some people might be thinking that I'm crazy for doing it this way. Some people are like, "No, dude, I just I paint only steel lives, and I only use a couple of brushes, and it works for me." And if it's working for you, and you're happy, and you're doing your thing, man, I mean, power to you. Keep doing that. Right? I'm all about whatever works for you. I'm just sharing with you what works for me. Whatever works for you, you got to keep doing that. Don't don't go bananas on me and try to do something that doesn't work. That just because it works for me, you're gonna go do it, and 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 it doesn't work for you, and you're gonna try to force it. Uh, you're gonna hurt yourself emotionally, right? You're gonna you're gonna hurt yourself emotionally. You're gonna be like, you're gonna be like, dude, why is this not working for me? You're gonna get uh, uh, impatient or frustrated or whatever, and and there's no need for that. Look at that. Ooh, mucho bueno. And so what I'm going to do here again is I'm going to come back to my to my painting, but with a smaller brush. See? I'm going to come back to the painting here, to the to the to the figurative horse here, with with a smaller brush. Now I can come back with a smaller brush and I can do I can do some damage, right? Because I got I got the the main. See, I'm not fighting the main part. That's what I wanted to. That's what I wanted to say. Many times I, I have no idea how to explain my artwork. This is why I'm not a very good instructor. I believe I, I'm more of a good uh, storyteller. <laughs> At least that's what I'm told. I don't know. Uh, maybe I'm not. I don't know. But I think I am a good storyteller because I, I love telling stories. And uh, but this is this is where you become dangerous, right? Because because you're not fighting the painting anymore. And so if you're not fighting the painting, you're now now you're painting, right? Now you're painting because I'm not I'm not trying to do the job of this brush with this one. Okay? Or a better I'm not trying to do the job of this brush with this one. Okay, I'm not fighting it. A lot of people out there fight it. I'm not trying to do the job of of this 
with this either, right? Or this vice versa, or however you say that, right? I'm not, I'm not trying to do that. I'm using every tool for its place, where it belongs. Every tool has its place. And, and if you don't know how to recognize that, you, you have to recognize it, right? You have to, you have to learn how to recognize it. It's the same thing with colors. It's, it's the same thing with colors. As you see with the, with the, with the brushes and whatnot, it, it operates the same thing with colors. You cannot use the same color for everything. No, no, I mean, you, you can if you want to, but you don't have to. Is what I'm trying to say is you don't have to. You don't have to use the same color. You don't have to use the same approach, the same brushwork. You don't have to either. You can change it up in the same painting. A lot of artists have a hard time doing that. Sometimes I get super expressionist and in some areas and in other areas I try to get super impressionistic. You know, I try to do the whole jagged thing like that, you know? Some areas I do that, some areas I don't. It's just, if, does it, is, it, is it the right thing to do? And if it's the right thing to do, I do it. That's all, that's all I ask myself. Is this the right thing to do? Not, do I want to do it? Not, no, is it the right thing to do? And if it's the right thing to do, baby, I do it. It's got nothing to do with whether I want to do it or I feel comfortable or no. So from that standpoint, I, 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 I approach painting uh, very, uh, uh, I'm very pragmatic from that point. From that point. So there it is, guys. My name is Jose Trujillo. I hope you like this happy little horse right here. Uh, this painting will be available on my eBay auctions. And uh, the auction will start at 99 cents. Go check it out, guys. The link will be below. I'm going to put the link uh, in the comments below, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pin it. All right? Take care, guys. Thank you so much. Hey, look. Here's a little extra. Watch. Boom, baby. Here's my color palette. I got soft mixing white, phthalo blue, viridian green. Uh, or blue, however you're going to call it, but it's Viridian. Uh, pale yellow. This is pale yellow hue. It's a cad. This is a cad red. This is dioxin purple. And this is magenta. And this is lamp black. And this is how I created. Look, this is all I had to mix to make that, to make that painting. Just this. And then, boom, baby. Put them together. That's what you get. Let's give it some space. And there it is. There's the horse. All right, guys. Take care. Love you all. Adios.